This compressor has one major feature that actually fits my style. So let's get to it. So I have this drum loop here. And we're going to put Smart Comp Free on it. You can already see the beginning of the feature I like. It will analyze the audio and adjust the compression for you. So let's just play it. And there we go. So right off the bat, it gives you a good starting point for your compression. So usually you would be adjusting the ratio, the threshold, attack, release. And you can see why I don't really love that because I like to focus on the creative side of music production. So I do like plugins that take care of this for you. So this gives you a great starting point. Maybe you can keep it this way. Let's compare with and without it. Yeah, it's a bit more punchy and glued together, but this is not the exciting part for me. While this is really cool, the exciting part is over here because this is the compression matrix where you can adjust what type of result you want with the compression. So instead of adjusting every technical thing in here, as you usually would, you just move this and it will determine how the compression will work. So more dense, more snappy, punchy or dynamic. And it will create this blob in which you can move. So this is dense, so everything will be more squished and glued together. We can go to punchy. Without it. Yeah, so right off the bat, this is really nice for a compressor. This is exactly my style. So yeah, this is the main feature that got me interested, but I'm going to show you a few more. So let's take a look at another example, and I'm going to show you another cool feature in Smart Comp 3. So we have this cool beat, I would say. And what we're going to do is put Smart Comp on the kick on the snare, on the cymbals and percussions, and all of these will be rooted to the drum bus. And we're gonna put Smart Comp on there as well. And now we're gonna play it. We analyze the drum bus. So what we can do now is add to group on the drum bus, create drums, and we can add the kicks, the snare and the percussions into the group. So everything that has Smart Comp Free on the mixer track can be added into the group. And now we can adjust it all. Everything has its own separate blob and we can adjust all of them in one instance of the plugin. So if we disable all of the compressors, it was like this. And if we enable it, the drum loop sounds a lot more like one loop instead of like many different elements. So that's another cool feature that you can group all of these elements in one instance of Smart Comp and adjust it like that. So here I want to show you some compression on this kick. We have this track. And this kick is way too bassy. It hits, it's nice, but then there's too much bass. So again, we can play the audio.
And right off the bat, it gave us a new preset that immediately you can hear gets rid of the overpowering bass. Maybe too much, so we can adjust it. So we want the bass, but we don't want it to be too loud. And you can actually see it nicely visually. So we have the initial hit of the kick, but then the compression is enabled and compresses the low frequencies of the kick. So we have a more balanced sounding kick. Very nice. And here we are in another example. And I want to show you a few more features this compressor has. If you do want to get more technical, you can. But if you want to stick to your ears and just adjusting this thing in the matrix, it's definitely a viable option. So here I have this drum beat. And you can see you can adjust the style of the compression, clean, smooth. aggressive or custom which you can adjust to your liking there is also spectral compression where you can dial in which frequencies it should focus on You have input writing and every time you hover over something it will show you what this actually does and you also have sidechain internal and external so again you can dial in all the technical things if you want to but as i said i'm not that technical when it comes to compressors and the fact that they have this feature the matrix which lets you adjust the compression visually where you can see whether it will be more dense snappy punchy or dynamic is just beautiful for me and this is not called a blob as i mentioned but the compression scope but uh I prefer Blob anyways. So yeah, this is Smart Comp Free by Sonable. I wanted to show you this plugin because this is exactly the type of compressor that I would use. So if you are like that as well, then check it out. Link will be below in the description. But if you are more technical and you do actually like to mess around with all the parameters and dial in the sound exactly how you want it, this is also great because it does have all the necessary features that a compressor should have. So you won't be missing out either way. Anyways, let me know what you think about this plugin and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.